Hi. Tonight on Kit Couple Review, we're going to be having a look at a model kit I've been very, very excited about for a long time now. This is Pegasus Hobbies new Nautilus submarine model kit. Uh, you can see here on the box, they've actually given credit to the man who originally designed this, Mr. Greg DeSantez. And I got to tell you, this for me, this is just an amazing, beautifully designed Nautilus. There haven't been very many um, Nautilus model kits that have come out. The ones I have found usually are very expensive or um, just unavailable. I have had built one previously. Uh, I did do a kit couple review video on that. If you haven't seen that review, please check it out. Um, and I'm, I must tell you that this is just an amazing piece of artwork that Mr. DeSantis has given us. And it, for me, it evokes a lot of wonder and excitement to see this mysterious metallic monster lurking and fighting with the squid down here. Uh, just a really, really beautifully designed submarine and model kit, let's hope. Uh, there's not much to the box. They gave us nothing on back. I wish they had, but that's all right. On top, we've got a nice picture of the finished top portion of the ship with a little bit of the photo etch detail there. Next door, we've got the finished Nautilus, complete with the squid base, which I think is just amazing. Uh, sides both sides left and right have this repeated image and on the bottom here they've given us a nice top down profile of the ship we've got a nice side profile and i thought this was really neat that they've given us a little biography on mr DeSantes and his, some of his previous work and this is from the artist signature series which looks to be a new line that Pegasus is launching. And they've really, really hit it out of the park with this. Uh, enough of me talking. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at the new Nautilus kit. Be right back. Okay. Hopefully, there's not too much glare in this video. Um, first up, we have what looks to be the bottom of the ship. We've also got a little hatch there and there on the other side. We've got amazing rivets. There's probably a couple thousand rivets on this um, submarine easily. We've got the top of the ship. There looks to be another hatch here. And if you remember from the from the um, novel and the movie, there's actually a separate vessel here which would come out and the um, I believe it's called the captain's launch or the captain's yachet I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure that's what that feature is there and this is the area where the rail is going to go very very nicely done uh, next up this looks to be the sides of the Nautilus. This is where the giant Victorian window is going to go. On both sides. This looks to be the top here, the top there. And just amazing detail they've given us with all these wonderful tiny rivets. Up, we've got this is going to be the back end where the propeller is going to go. Down here, we've got a door, so that's probably going to be part of the parlor on the inside. We've got what looks to be the floor of the roof of the parlor. 
that's probably the floor right there another hatch and up here we've got what must be the inside of the Victorian window hopefully you can see there's little books there and bookcases I've got that looks to be the propeller and the propeller housing and again just wonderfully designed next up this looks like it's going to be the fins that are a prominent feature on the Nautilus these are going to go glued together and then they're going to go on the sides of the Nautilus and probably the bottom very very nice okay we're getting into the smaller detailed pieces looks to be some a window housing that piece there is the spear that's going to puncture the ships we've got some very small pieces here I can't I don't know what those are these are probably going to be the pieces that go on the top deck to tie off on that's what I'm guessing they are not sure what these are we've got our clear parts for all our smaller windows this is probably going to be the bigger windows here they've protected them over here these are the windows that are on top that look like eyeballs and we've got it looks to be part of the battering ram it's part of a globe right there that's probably going to go on the inside and I'm guessing these are some finer detailed parts these actually look like they're going to be the lashing bars that attach to the front of the Nautilus they're probably super delicate so we're going to be careful with those and right in here we've got the top piece of the Nautilus over in the center that's going to be the parlor sofa that's going to be painted red for sure uh, right here we've got a desk and what looks to be a small organ and coming up here we've got some photo etch uh, I must tell you that I had wondered why this Nautilus was in the sixty dollar range but I had forgotten that it actually comes with its own photo etch um, detail set uh, I have worked with photo etch before on my Mobius models Battlestar Galactica and it's it's pretty easy to work with there's not much to it as long as you work slowly these look to be handrails or rungs these pieces are the lashing bars that would attach to the front of the sub we've got some gratings more rails these are going to be the rails that go on the top of the submarine left side and right and on the back this is very neat what they've gone and done is they've actually given us a um, a mask for when we paint our windows and that's going to make the work a lot easier than trying to go ahead mask for that window there that's what they've gone and given us uh, let's take a look at the base which I've gone ahead and put together I'll show you that there 
it's going to look along with the nameplate which I guess is optional since it doesn't really connect beautiful the way they did that and this base is just wicked cool you can see here the eye of the giant octopus kind of just coming out of the um, cave there or whatever this might be and they've just really knocked it out of the park with this detail this is a hard plastic I have used this before in um, Pegasus Hobby Pegasus Hobby's model kits uh, their Cathoga, the Martian and the um, other Martian and it's it's a good material to work with it's pretty sturdy and it gives you amazing detail the Nautilus itself is actually going to sit in here right here and this base is just just killer I did have some trouble with this tentacle right here I'll have to heat that in some warm water and rebend it to um, get it to shape shape so it stands up a little bit more prominently but uh, just incredible design work by Mr. DeSantez nameplate will go somewhere in here what I'll probably do is put some AV's epoxy sculpt here and then wet this with water and then press it on and then remove it wait for the AV's to dry and then glue it on and it'll fit perfectly uh, I want to show you the instructions next which I have here nice and simple again they've repeated what they stated earlier about Mr. Mr. DeSantes uh, so let's go ahead and take a look first up it's a parts breakdown showing you all the components next up for step two you're giving us a breakdown on building the interior that's the couch and piano there there it is assembled and then this is the side of the vessel here it is completed and then going in the lower piece of the hull next up we've got the window installation well, that's going to go and then everything's going to encapsulate the main room right here this is the front top piece and the very top piece showing you how they go this model kit has a a lot of details going into it. These are all the um, hand rungs, I guess you'd call them, how they're going to go into place. These are the side pieces, which will go in all four areas of the Nautilus. We've got the tail assembly, how that's going to go. Right. Next up, we've got the front of the vessel all the tiny details the window housings that are going to go here here we've got our lashing bars for reinforcement of our battering ram and these are all the extra lashing bars that are going to connect on top of the ship right here we've got the almost completed vessel with all the finer small details pieces that are going to go on the top of it and on back here we've got more of the rods or lashing bars as I call them showing you how they go 
This, of course, is going to be the photo etch pieces of the handrail that goes on top of the vessel. Right here, we've got the construction of the base, the ship being put into place, and then we've got a little painting chart for painting suggestions on how you can paint it. And then finally, we've got the number call out for the window masking and how that, that's going to be executed. Yeah, just a, a beautiful kit. I cannot wait to um, go ahead and build this. And it's just going to look fantastic once it's done. Uh, so, Pegasus Hobbies, you've really, really hit it out of the park with this one and really stepped up in Kit Couple Review's opinion. I'd say this makes you neck and neck with Mobius. Just a, an amazing model kit. Uh, this is why I build model kits. Kits like this. Uh, anyways, I thank you for listening to my Pegasus Hobbies Nautilus Kit out of the box review. Uh, please stay tuned and we thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.